Halo Infinite gameplay essentially confirmed at E3 2019. And in this video, I'm going to give you all the details you're going to need to know when going into E3 this Sunday for Halo Infinite. Stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on E3 and what you'd like to see for Halo Infinite. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, that's Halo Infinite, MCC on PC, Halo 5, everything in between, make sure to tap that subscribe button with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. So E3 2019 this year is going to be one of the biggest years in Halo's history because a lot is riding on Halo Infinite because we have a brand new engine, a brand new game, just a whole new story, then a whole new direction to take this game. And it's really, I think, uh, set the pace for Halo's coming in the future as well. And so this is going to be a very important reveal of Halo Infinite that I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot. And according to the news article I read, we're going to be getting quite a bit of it as well. Now, the reason why I say that it's essentially confirmed that we will see gameplay at E3 is because the official Xbox Magazine Twitter tweeted out an article written by Games Radar, which is basically citing a source from Therat, which is Brad Sams, who leaked out a bunch of information about Halo Infinite. Infinity, it was back then. It was real close and labeled off a bunch of different kind of topics, which were rather correct. And so again, he's coming out here with some more leaks this year and saying, now, well, basically, we will be seeing some gameplay but it's not going to be playing on the new Xboxes, which are most likely going to be officially announced this year at E3. So I think if the original official Xbox magazine Twitter is willing to tweet out this kind of information, I think that pretty much seals the deal that, the, yeah, we will be seeing gameplay of Halo Infinite at E3, which doubles my hype level to a level I didn't even think it was even possible, but that's going to be great. I am so excited for this. I mean, this game's been in development for quite some time, and I think right by now is probably we would be getting a chance to see some gameplay. We do know that Halo Infinite is in a rather playable state at the moment. Even back in uh, December when uh, 343 said that they were going to hold their yearly Halo tournament using Halo Infinite, and so at least it was a playable build then, and now they've been hiring a bunch of pro mem former pro players to jump onto the pro team there to help refine the gameplay down. So at least we have a general sense of what we're going to be getting when it comes to Halo Infinite. Now it's going to be kind of hard to compare this to what Halo 5 did be uh, for E3 the year before its release, as in 2014 was the year MCC was announced and going to be released. So the Xbox Halo awesomeness that was brought to E3 was kind of overshadowed by the MCC, though we did get a little bit of a trailer just showing a lot kind of overlooking things learning about the master chief and things like that but nothing really about the gameplay so i think since the game's been since halo infinite's been in development for so long we will actually see some decent amount of gameplay for this e3 and believe we will be breaking down that gameplay that's going to be showing at e3 i will be streaming it as well guys so if you want to stay up to date make sure to subscribe to the channel guys like i said and that we will be streaming it as well here on on youtube and on twitch as well so make sure to keep an eye out for that we'll make an event reminder for everybody who wants to follow with that now the article that was mentioned on the official xbox twitter was actually more of a article referencing a different article by uh, brad sams on thera who jack like said does mention he uh, leaks a lot of microsoft kind of information he's kind of a microsoft insider news guy and he mentioned saying for halo infinite this will be a real showing of the game next generation game microsoft will be running the demos on a pc with an xbox controller as they don't want first impressions of the new game to be running on the dated xbox one hardware totally understandable it's very common within uh these showings to be kind of giving you guys a full experience of what we're going to be seeing and the reason why they're probably not going to be running on the new xbox is because they're still under development and um another brad sam's information and talking about that they most likely these new xboxes are going to be running on amd chip cards uh, for their CPUs and those CPUs that we'll be using were literally just announced like last week and so then 
Uh, I wouldn't expect, so obviously like none of the hardware is completely set in stone right now when it comes to the new Xboxes. So the best thing they can do is build a PC with like specs that will be able to represent what will be seen for Halo Infinite. And it's also, as we do know, Halo Infinite will also be on PC as well as Xbox One and potentially a launch title for the next generation consoles as well. And now what's been confirmed by 343 that's going to be at E3? Well, we do know there's going to be a playable version of MCC on PC where the Halo Reach, the tip of the spear campaign mission is going to be able to be playable at E3. And when it comes to Halo Infinite, the only thing they've ever said was that Chris Lee is going to tell you about the game. That's literally all we really know. And that's kind of surprising as in they've done a better job this year when it comes to avoiding leaks as they did last year. Now what to expect from E3 this year? I would assume Bonnie Ross will probably jump on stage, give you a general idea of what we're going to be seeing when it comes to Halo Infinite, like general story, uh, and general feel, and it's like the idea and what they want to capture with this game. And then I can imagine bringing Chris Lee in to give you the details of what the gameplay is going to be like, what the engine can accomplish, and things like that. So we might get like a live play gameplay demo with Chris Lee. I would assume probably some campaign kind of trailer at the end of the presentation, or maybe at the very beginning. And then I'm hoping at the very end we'll see a little tease of multiplayer as well. Uh, for Halo Infinite, as we do know it's very playable at the moment, at least internally at 343. Now, another thing I could uh, potentially see happening is also the announcement of how to sign up to get into the beta program when it comes to these flights for Halo Infinite, as we do know that we're going to be able to be able to play this game before it's actually released through the beta, pro beta flighting program. Now, I am very excited and very grateful that 343 is going to be doing that. It's very similar pat form that they're doing with the MCC, though I'm also rather hesitant from the make that announcement at E3. Uh, I recently put up a poll on Twitter, not, and of course this is only just a small segment of what you guys would think, but I got 70 votes on this saying, hypothetical, if 3 over 3 have the opportunity at E3 to announce the infinite flighting program and how to sign up, should they do it? 83% out of 70 people said yes, while 17% said no. And if they have the opportunity to announce it and how to do it, I mean, that might be really great to help get that player pool that they need to have a true uh, beta test of the game. Though, uh, I would actually would like to see them not announce how to do that and rather do that like on like a social stream or something like that or something more internal for the, with the community because I'd rather have an opportunity for the community themselves to play the game rather than have just like Joe Schmo gamer who just wants to hop on and get a chance to say I played Halo Infinite before everybody else kind of person. I'd rather have that be with the community because I feel like they would be much more involved with the beta uh, process of this game as well. Though also depending on what kind of scale they're looking to do for this flying program, it might actually be more beneficial to announce it and how to sign up at E3. Uh, again, we'll just have to see. I would prefer them not to do that because that's more of a technical thing that I wouldn't expect them to announce at E3 as E3 is more reserved for big, huge, you know, bombastic announcements that kind of get headlines for people. You don't necessarily get headlines when it comes to uh, exactly how to sign up for a beta program. Also guys, I did find this awesome bingo card online, so we will be playing some Halo Infinite bingo when it comes to the live stream here. Uh, we got some things in here mentioned about Liam Neeson as a character. Like I said, that was a leak that I mentioned in the previous year that's most likely fake, but never confirmed, never denied. Uh, things like 2019 and release date, cross-generation launch title, uh, you know, secondary protagonist, but good, uh, mixed art style, but good, and, you know, things, you know, hidden lore for Luke as in uh, hidden experience. There's just like little things here in that Didact Returns and stuff like that. So hopefully we get a nice bingo for you guys as well for this uh, this E3 this year, which I certainly would help make this a lot more fun of an experience. So definitely looking forward to that as well. So like I said, guys, jump into that live stream. Trust me, it's going to be a good time. Last time we had over 150 people watching at once. Guys, dude, infinite hype. It's all here. We're definitely ready for it. So you guys, Halo Infinite will probably have gameplay. So I'm really excited for that. Like again, again, like I said, guys, I will be doing a live stream of the press conference on Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 9th. Be there here on this channel or over on Twitch. I will be dual streaming it there and uh, hopefully we get a chance to get some real nitty gritty good stuff right there, guys. It'll be live reactions. We're gonna be breaking down 
everything so much. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to tap that subscribe button as we're going to be going deep, deep, deep in dives into the Halo Infinite when we're from E3 here, guys. So I'm super excited about it. This is going to be a turning point in the Halo community and Halo's history. So I'm super excited about it. So if you like these kind of videos of information kind of stuff, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see at E3 from Halo Infinite or just E3 in general from Microsoft's press conference. You know, I do, like I said, I do, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything Halo related. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.